Anyway, guys, this is actually Friday evening. Uh, actually, it's nighttime. We haven't been back with Lex for just a little bit. Traffic was horrible. We had to take Coda Bear home. You'll see that some of this video. I'm going to give you like a little view of my kitchen. Basically, the way it's going to stay for the time being. Uh, <clears throat> I run out of spaces for a shelf. This no room. If I come up with an idea, I got a few little things I like to put on a shelf. But if I don't, I'll put them on the pavilion, maybe. As far as the kitchen goes, it's pretty well basically like it's going to be. I've got a few things over here. I'm going to put in this cabinet. I'm going to rearrange my cabinet. Uh, I've got a bottom shelf on the glass case cabinet. I can put some of those things down there. And that's the thing I can put up here. I mean, that's, and what it is, it's these electrical, uh, little, little appliances over here. I've got the, the mixer and a little uh, food processors. And I've got a couple of items over here that will go in there. And I can get them out when I need them. Uh, I think Ben come in made made him a video because I see a tripod sitting in here. Ben's real proud of this kitchen, and I it wouldn't be this way if it wasn't for Ben helping me. You know, Kim deserted me. Kim deserted me. She come over that here all her ideas, Dad, no, oh, Dad, no, oh, Dad. It ain't cut out. No. She, she checked with me almost daily, guys. She had her own projects going, and I told her I wasn't in no big rush and we would do it. Ben and I could do most of it all, you know, and we'd get it done. Ben could not come out here, and being no investigator, I see it right off. I got these two little lamps up here. Two little kerosene lamps. I see one's got smut in it again. He doesn't come out here fired while I'm up. He loves them. He loves them. He may have come in here and turned all the lights out and, and lit them up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he may have. But I, I'm just talking. I'm just trying to get in y'all to know. I'm going to just give you like a, a view of it. Get it out to you tomorrow morning. The gifts and goodies will not be on your Saturday morning video. I uh, got some things I want to open, and I'll probably open them tomorrow. Today was a tremendously busy day. We got up. We had to get all those rugs out of the house. We had to go get Lex. Uh, I had a couple of places I had to go and check on my truck. Uh, it's supposed to be ready by Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm hoping. So a lot of stuff we had to get done today that... Uh, <clears throat> And I worked out here to finish this up. Gifts and goodies will probably be done tomorrow, but maybe not. And maybe post tomorrow night. Maybe. If not, maybe Monday. Just be a little a day or two late. A day or two late. I've been late before. <laughs> and, but yeah, I want to show it to you right now. So I, I forget everything else. I'm going to just kind of walk you through it here. And I will post this tomorrow morning. Hope you like what you see. I know, I know there'll be some suggestions. Well, Paul, Paul, you should have. Well, maybe I should have. And I didn't. Here we start here with a bunch of cast iron. Coffee pot. Right on around up here. Cookbooks. Old timey cookbooks. Come on around. My wife's tongs, whatever you call it. My little cook stove here. And uh, my pans, and I've got two more that were given to me that I've had at the house. I've got my pans here all. Got the two little ones that were sent to me. This other one was sent to me. I've got two more at the house that I cooked on recently. I'll bring out here too. Got my skillet salon here. And this cabinet here 
they just got some stuff in here, you know, in those pots back there at BM wanted and some stuff here, okay? Uh, some of this we're gonna readjust up here. Now, the only disappointment I had was my bread machine here. That I didn't have room down there. That's not a problem. I, you don't use a bread machine every day. It's the same way when I do I cook it's one of these pots up here. I would be setting it right here anyway. On this here, because if there's a spill, it cleans right up. Bread machine can sit here too and plug in right there. So I'm, I'm actually proud of proud of it, guys. I truly am. Uh, I think later on, Ben and I will paint the floor gray. I've got some regular concrete paint. It's gray. But I like what I see. I'll show you. No, no papa was an investigator. I look for stuff like that. You got to notice stuff like that. You got to come in here and say, uh oh, somebody lit the lamp. Who could it be? And then I see this tripod in here. I know who it was. But I'm sure he came in here and maybe made a video. I'm sure he came in here and liked what he saw because he's responsible for a lot of it. I am going to try to research Amazon and find some thicker stuff. This is so thin. I, it's not like this is real thick. This is heavy duty. This is what we call light duty, I guess. <laughs> it's just, I made the mistake when I ordered this thing, it was the same stuff. And it's not. This stuff drapes good and you can clean it. It takes a beat and it comes right on back. You know, it takes that ticket and pops right back. This stuff is not, it's too thin. It will keep, you know, splashes from getting on stuff. You wipe it off, but it, it's not going to last long. Okay. Woody, what you thinking, Woody? Woody says, it looks good to me, Papa. We're going to spend lots of days in here drinking coffee and kicking back. And when it gets cold weather, Papa, we're going to fire a little heater up over there, Papa. We're going to be in here drinking our coffee, not listening. Nothing goes on. Right? I love you, buddy. <laughs> I love this little boy. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoy this video. And I'm going to tell you up front, hit the like button, share with someone. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Okay. Y'all take care. Good morning, Ivan. Getting the silent treatment, Papa. Everybody's still kind of laid up, kind of sleepy eyed here this morning. Oh, here he comes. He kind of starts my day, guys. Well, him and three cups of coffee. <laughs> I don't know which I could do without. I could probably do without the coffee if I had to. I don't know about I. Morning. Hey, Sad to come over here and talk to Papa. No? <laughs> I love you. I'm going after your breakfast right now. Yeah, this is the first morning. The first morning. I'll be right back. What, baby? What? What, baby? This is the first morning that we've been able to sleep in. Up to eight o'clock. Yeah, well, I got up at five because it's heavy, heavy. Woke me up at five, and I realized I wanted to start my coffee. Come on, let my boys out. Come on. And then I realized Coda Bear wasn't coming until nine. I could go back and sleep probably for another hour or so if I wanted to, and I did. So I slept at about six thirty. Uh, I didn't realize I was, I was that tired, but I, I guess I was. But I have an internal alarm clock. goes off at 5 o'clock. You know, she, she comes about 5.15, something like that. So I'm usually up and got my coffee going when she gets here. 
Elijah coming this morning, guys. Uh, he's gonna help pull up all those rugs, so we're gonna get ready to start painting next week. Ben's gonna paint, I think, on Monday. They actually get along real good. That's that's Ivan's family. This is girlfriend there beside him. His little girlfriend here. They get along great, and all of his little friends. <laughs> what a mix! What a mix that is. You love them, don't you, Ivan? There comes that crazy rooster over to eat with them. All right. I'm just sitting here. I think Coda Bear just got here. And I was sitting there taking a little break. I went in the house. She was making a video, so I said, I don't want to interfere with that, so I come on back out. And uh, visiting with my girl. Uh... I think I'm gonna go ahead and call my well man and tell him go ahead and do that pump motor if he wants to with the old well house because I'm not gonna have time. I'm gonna take this end of it out over here so we can get to it easier. But I'm not gonna have time to take it completely down because we're gonna go get Lex here in a little bit. Uh, we gotta get those rugs out of the house uh, I've got to do some sanding in a couple of spots on the floor uh, where i got some loose paint. And so we get it ready for Monday when Ben comes to paint. So I'm going to be working in the house most of the weekend. And uh, I plan on taking that well house down this weekend, but I'm not going to be able to get to it. So if he wants to go ahead and replace the motor stuff, he can. If not, then he can wait till I get the end of the week. Next week, I'll get the well house down. So we'll leave it up to him. I'm going to give some goodies here in a little bit. Uh, wait on Elijah right now. Get him started on the carpets or on the rugs. Uh, we got to move all the furniture, pull the rugs up, and then uh, we, uh, we can start you know, preparing the floor the floors for paint and I bought some uh, real good epoxy paint so it should work good while we're waiting on Elijah I went, went ahead and hung my clock right here it's an awesome old clock yeah awesome and, and my friend Ronnie painted this guys uh, and I say that word loosely when I say friend <laughs> he's always on my case but no, I think it's a beautiful picture. He sent us two or three that he's painted himself. Uh, in my man cave, I got an eagle, beautiful eagle, and uh, made this in 05. Well, I'm glad he did it back in 05, because he probably can't paint nothing now. <laughs> now I just pick it on him. And he painted G, a beautiful little alley cat, to go with all of her cat collection. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, I've got, I'm just kind of diddling because I'm waiting on Elijah. Elijah's running late today. You know how these young folks are. This is a antique coffee grinder. And I'm gonna hang it probably up on that wall right over there. Close that little bell. Up out of the way. I don't want anybody walking by and snagging her, snagging her lip on it and pulling her mouth apart. <laughs> I always pick it on them. They come in here and watch out. Don't start talking, walking by, still hanging out. You're, it'll get you. I'm just picking. I put it in this indention here because I don't want anybody to come by and seriously catch your clothes, catching your clothes on them. Sticking in here, they might catch your shirt or something on it. That's overtiming coffee beans in there, cup or container underneath it, Don't drag it. <laughs> yeah, a friend of mine gave that to me and I, I want to keep that, anyway, uh, I don't have a lot of room for decorations, so I'm trying to make, you know, uh, not necessarily the best decoration or the more valued decorations, but, uh, just trying to make room for things that we're gonna... Yeah, that, that reminds me of Ivan said, wow, you can 
really cook, Pawpaw. I added the Pawpaw. <laughs> I uh, put my little Sasquatch cutting board right there. And I've got this one here I'm gonna put up. And I put my, I know it was my grandpa's and my dad said he believed it belonged to his grandpa, so it'd make it a great grandpa. You look at all the old pits in that thing. That's the old hatchet. The old handle now is not an old type handle. It's a handle I had to buy because uh, the old handle brought it out. My dad had just put up this old hatchet head in his shop, up in the, stuck between the rafters and the tin. And he, he would call me sometimes to come down. He'd have something he wanted to give me and he'd tell me the story behind it. And one day he said, I got something for you. Cause he knew I liked antiques, especially, you know, related to family. But I always liked antiques anyway. Kim does too. Uh, her and I are probably the only two out of, out of the group that does. Tina may, I don't know, but I know oh, ben, ben does. Now I'll tell you what, old Ben's coming along behind me and Kim, same foot tracks, except for his feet are bigger. <laughs> but uh, I went down and he says, this here, I want you to have his hatchet head. He said, this belonged to my dad. He said, I believe it belonged to my grandpa, which make it my great grandpa. He said it stuck, they kept it stuck in a chunk of wood by the wood pile. And it was used only for kindling. And the rule was you never, this is for the kids now, you never took that hatchet away from the wood pile. It stayed right there. So when they went out to chop up kindling for the fire, whether it be cooked with or to heat with, it better be there. If that thing wasn't there, somebody going to be in big time trouble. So he gave it to me. I said, I'll take care of it. And I, it was all rusted up and I got it. I cleaned it and cleaned it and finally got it and got it, you know, painted so it don't rust again. But the old pits show the age. They're in it. But anyway, he said he, belay, he believed it belonged to his grandpa, but for sure, uh, he, knows, he knows for sure his dad had it. So, anyway, they all lived there together, so it's uh, it was most likely his grandpa's. Anyway, it's one of the things he saved for me. Actually, I here just kind of killing time, guys, because I'm waiting on Elijah to get here, and uh, he's running late. I thought, well, I might well make, make myself useful. These are gifts and goodies. I'll take them out and I'll, I'll, I'll show them here in a little while. I may put it on the same video, depending on what all we got to put on this video, if you don't mind. Be for your Saturday video. All right, we're getting here. We got a little bit more room to go. All right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting here. Got my oven, my ninja, and my microwave. The little bread maker is going to go on the other side over here. Wasn't enough room for it. Looks pretty good though, huh? Okay. I had ordered this <clears throat> back when I first built my old kitchen. And it's it's heavy duty. It's felt like felt line. I like it. So I ordered some more. Well, I ordered the wrong thing. This is real paper thin. It says felt lined and all that, but it's uh it's uh, I don't know, I'm gonna read up and order some more for this countertop. This stuff here ain't gonna last long, not with me and my boys out here. No, I don't think it'll last real thin. It's just like paper thin. It looks pretty, but it's paper thin. And this was real heavy duty. That's what's over there too. And I'll have to order, try to go back and try to find some of this and not this. I've got an extra package now. I just, <laughs> I guess I'll use it on something. Or, you, you know, I'll for a picnic or something over an outdoor table, it'd be great. You know, I think that's what they're made for. Kind of disposable, probably. But it'll be okay for the time being. It looks pretty. It just, it's not heavy duty like this. And that's what I like. I'm a heavy duty man. I'm a spicy, heavy duty man. 
<laughs> I like everything heavy duty. All right, uh, I got a little bit more to do. Kind of situate some of the stuff out. Okay, Elijah's here. Roll up that whole rugs. They're good rugs, but nobody wants them, and we got to get rid of them. They wasn't expensive, so it wasn't like, you know, but I'm gonna put them down at the back. Somebody does change their mind, they'll still be good. All you do is go pick them up before it rains and vacuum them. They're, uh, they're good. I just don't have no use for them. I can't put them out here. I mean, we're trying to solve a problem. I don't want to create another one somewhere else. I see Breeze over here helping you. We're going to paint those floors next week. To the room, to the room, to the room. To the room, Get here, girls. Go play. Hi, sweet girl. You little rats, get in that room. What's that? New tap shears? Yeah. Uh, well, that's an awesome. New tap shoes. You like real tap shoes. Oh, real tap shoes. Why Mickey hat? That's a Mickey's hat I'm wearing, ain't it? Oh. Papa, wear the Mickey's hat. You don't have me on it. Yeah, you want to wear it? No. <laughs> Get out of here, Red. That's not real, though. Cast iron, right? It's not going to be super heavy. No, it does that way. It's not real. Come on, baby, run. Run, come on. Okay, I'm just going to take the whole TV. She drops that TV. I'm going to move in with her. Did you ever get your popcorn? Do you still go in here? I have to pull that out from underneath this stairwell. Cuddle bear. There's a purple cup right over here, baby. See it on the table? Go get it. You can get it. Yeah, well, I know. We're no, gonna, I'm going to wash it. She's going to wash it. You put your drink in it. Okay? Here, Papa, I'll get it for you. Come on. All right, Feaster. Go get the purple cup. Hurry up. No, I want to. Okay, you go get it. It's too late. Too late. You, left. you went to get toys. She got it. Oh, okay. That's a good girl. Give to Gigi. Now I have two purple cups. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, how will we know? Where are the cups? No, please. Please. Hey, wait, wait. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you forget, turn, 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 turn. Did you forget you asked for the goat cup and it has tea in it ready to drink? I'd love to see people work. <laughs> Look at that boy. Look at it. It's nice have it used around here. What is wrong? I got the best grandkids ever. Oh, dude, what do you I can't tell them that though, to their face. Then they'll, then they'll think I'm obligated. <laughs> I probably am, right? All right, baby, don't worry about where it goes. You put it where it goes. Buster said, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing, people? 
Now the purpose of this is, if we have water ever again, all we have to do is come in, if the furniture will be up, we'll put all the furniture up if we think water's gonna come in. The amount of pills in this And all we have to do is come in and wash and clean the floors and set the furniture back down. We want to be doing all this and pulling furniture out, pulling the carpet out. If I need a pain pill, it's fine. One in the carpet we just rolled up. It's where all the pain pills are. Someone in here's got a problem. <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to get out the back door. Like get over Ready? Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Why, John? I'm trying to just scrooge it down. You ruined it? I ruined one. Go, go, video. go, go, go. Video. She's got a plan. Oh, oh, oh you put out, that. You, you put that butt up there. It's gonna go down. I think. Uh, I think Elijah did a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what you were planning. I guess you had the same idea. God. She loves to show her butt. Well, it's a cute butt. Hey. Oh, that you making a fat joke about me a few months ago might have hurt my feelings, but I wasn't big enough to push the carpet down this time, okay? I know, I see that, baby. Here, I'll grab this side. Here, baby, I'll it. take it. We, we need to go out the back door with it? Yeah. No. It don't, matter. it don't matter if I scratch this concrete, right? No, don't, no, don't scratch that concrete for sure. Tear up the stained concrete. Yeah, this is going to get painted. Uh, I got it, Pop. If you it. can, put it on the mule. So I can take it away. It's sitting somewhere. I am, baby. I got my stupid. The reason ready. you hired someone to do this job, <sighs> baby. Can you tell Gigi what you want to drink? Come on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, oh love you guys. Y'all, y'all so awesome. How y'all gonna make that fit on the mule? Uh, I don't think it's gonna fit on the mule, but I'll cut you a big hole in it and tie your strap to it. You can drag it down there. That'll work, baby. Or the strap over, already tied by mule. Just put a hole in that. Here, Got a knife on. yeah, yeah. Throw it behind it. Tie it. Cut a hole in it and tie a strap to it. All right, you can put this back again. Let's go see what I got going here. All the rugs are out. This room, that room, front room where the office is, uh, the living room, the bathroom. We all had a small piece in the bathroom because you don't want, you know, rug over by the toilet. So that's right just right there where she gets dressed. We're going to leave this little bit in here for the girls. And we've got a piece just like that around our bedroom, in our bedroom. So if it gets wet, it just gets wet and drag it out and throw it away. But this is the main, the main thing we'll get done right through here. And it looks bad, but when we get it painted, come Monday, we'll start painting. I can't let tickle monsters get me. No, I can't. I, I, I can't do it. It's my superpower to not Coda let. Bear. And Coda Bear on her way to get Lex. And say right now she's going to sleep all the way. I just want to sleep. Okay. Coda Bear is already asleep. Yeah. So it's just going to be Papa. We got the rugs all out of the house. Kind of tinker with them over the weekend. And Monday morning we're going to start painting. Can't wait. The girl off in her in her house. Uh, wait, here comes her mom. Mm -hmm. And then we're going home without legs with us. Here's your mama, the baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Here's her mama. Baby, you have to take that home with you. It's pretty down here. Very pretty. But now you see why little Coda Bear likes to come to our house. She can get out of that mule and just ride. <laughs> see the cows and see the cow poop. She's fascinated yeah. with cow poop. No cow poop here. No cow poop here. You can run around barefooted here. 